Hey friends! Uh, so today is Wednesday and it is August the 12th and here is my weekly update. I know I completely missed last week's so let me fill you in. My weight has not changed. Uh, my choices in food have gotten slightly better. I'm still taking my medication twice a day, two in the morning, two at night. Um, last week my son had a football game so it's gotten really busy lately um, with my kids in sports. I have one in cross country, two in football, and one in robotics. So trying to keep up with videos, even though they're only five minutes, they uh, are a little bit of a doozy. So yeah, anyways, um, I seem to be doing well. When I weighed in this morning, I was 168.6. So still maintaining, which makes me very happy, but I've started back at the gym too. So I'm hoping that that helps. Um, I did the stair stepper on Monday, yes. And I did it after I got out of work and I did 91, 91 floors. Um, and then I only had like 20 minutes that I could fit in because my kids had to be everywhere they needed to be. But um, Tuesday morning I went with a friend and we did stair steppers. I did about uh, 41 floors. Then we did just some, um, crunches and sit-ups and push-ups and uh, squats and things like that so okay so I have an idea and I was hoping that maybe you guys would give your input so I got a new camera and I was talking with my sister and she said that I make a lot of ooh, thing in my eye Ugh. um she said I make a lot of different foods that she wouldn't think about so for example today I am making a zucchini lasagna um, I had something similar to it before um, I just kind of threw it together for myself so today I'm making it like in the crock pot for the family and she was like you know it would be really helpful she's like I never think of these things and I wouldn't even know where to begin um, she's a mom of two with a third on the way she's like it sounds super easy but I honestly don't think about it what if you used your new camera and you started uploading videos of different foods and recipes that you put together um, and start sharing those. So obviously these are like, you know, I just upload these from my phone because they're hurry, I put them in, you know, and get them out um, because I don't want to miss an update. But on the other hand, where I could set my camera up on my tripod and I could film like the recipes that I make, it obviously would be edited and I would share them with you. But I just don't know, like, is that something somebody would be interested in? Or is that something like you really wouldn't watch? I know it's not necessarily like a contrive thing, but considering I do take Contrave and these are the foods that I'm cooking and the foods that I'm eating, you know, would that be something that maybe would pertain to you guys as well? Just curious. Um, so give me your input on that. Please let me know. I really do want to know. And so a couple other things. Today I signed up for a 5K. I haven't signed up for a 5K since I think before July. Oh, that's a lot of, there, that's a little bit better. Um, since before July I signed up, I had one Think maybe in June or July anyways it's been a while I still have been running here and there but not consistently like I did I used to run almost every single day um, so today is a beautiful day it's like 78 out it's not humid that sun's still awful there we go um, and so I am picking up my kids and we're gonna go to a park and I'm gonna run but I signed up for a 5k and it's called a hot cider hustle and I'm super excited for it because this is the first time I've signed up my 11 year old he does cross country through school and because he's only in fifth grade he can't compete mm, that hair looks janky he can't compete um, and so I thought that this would be something kind of exciting for him that he would be able to do he can he gets microchipped and test his time and stuff so another thing with that is I have my friend who's also going with me and she hasn't ran a 5k in a while so we're gonna start working and training together so yeah I'm really excited I she said that I have inspired her to kind of get back on a healthy wagon and um, yeah so we're gonna do it together I'm really excited she's a good friend of mine and so I hope that I I love watching videos where people can inspire me to do things or kind of get outside my box get outside my comfort level and I really hope that maybe this is something like that for you I hope I'm I'm encouraging you to um, 
get outside your comfort level. Whether it's looking into a medication or completely deciding that it's not for you, don't look into a medication. You guys got this. Do it. Do it. I cannot, I cannot stress that enough to just don't wait until tomorrow. Do it today. Make an appointment today. Get out your shoes today. Go for a walk today. Because I know for me... I was like, oh, I'm going to start my weight loss after the holidays. Well, I don't want to start it, you know, on my birthday. That means I can't have cake or, you know, I just, I made excuses for myself day in and day out. So I guess my message to you this, this week or this video is just don't hesitate. If it's something you really want, just do it. It's not like there's, there's nothing to be lost. So um, I am going to tell you guys, I hope you have a great week. And sorry I missed last week's video and um, yeah I'm gonna go for a run so I hope you guys have a great day thank you for watching I know it's bumpy please let me know what you guys think about uh, food videos or recipe videos or if there's anything else that you possibly would think would be kind of interesting to see whether it's on a weight loss journey on a parent um, parent end of it or whatever I feel like we all are a plethora of information that we could share with each other to help each other so please let me know if there's even something that you uh, would love to know I don't know I hope you guys have a great day I will talk to you all soon bye